The truth about fresh versus frozen is that both have pretty much the same nutrients unless they have additional salsas or sugars added. So that's what we would need to be watchful for. If the frozen is going to be cheaper for you, if what you enjoy is out of season, then frozen is gonna be the way to go. We want your fruits and vegetables to be the most colorful thing in your basket and we do want variety. So it's going to depend on what's gonna be best for you at that time. But again, fresh frozen, same nutrients, but watch for the added sugars and sauces. We have a whole line or array of fruit juices, fresh fruit, and actually vegetable juices as well. But what is the difference between that and a piece of fresh fruit? Well, obviously, when you're doing the juices, you're not going to get the fiber that's contained in the skin of fleshy fruits and vegetables that we can buy. Then the other part of that is, 100% fruit juices are available, but what do we see most often? We see fruit cocktails and those things that are five to 10, sometimes 20% juice containing. And then the rest, again, added sugars and so forth. And that just gives us added calories and less nutritional value. So can we get a full fruit serving out of fresh fruit and vegetable juices? Sure we can but making sure that you read the label. Turn the container around. If it says 100% fruit or vegetable juice and it tells you that there's one full serving there, go ahead, get a four to six ounce glass and enjoy. However, do not think that's an absolute replacement for fresh fruit and vegetable. When you have the opportunity to buy fresh, fresh is the way to go.